Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bag back and today you already know we up on this mod team ready to get it popping As you guys can see there are new rim rocker packs out. We go over the pack market. They are there They are expensive as always as I said man um, Y'all already know 101k for a 10 pack box and 220 for the big boy box That's expensive and there is a theme for them the rim rockers you guys can see the Terrence Ross You can see the Derek Jones. Jr. I love the look of the glass shattering on the background it looks pretty cool. I, I'm not gonna lie. It looks cool. Lots of Derek Jones Jr. up. He gotta be going for a very, very cheap. But if we sort this by uh, Rim Rockers and then go over to the, what's it called, Sapphire, you can see there's actually a pretty decent number up. Last week it was not this case. Uh, there was a lot less up. There was, I think, maybe like 12 total up. And I mean, there's at least like 40 or 50 there, I'd say. There's a good number. So, yeah. Lots of cards on the auction house. And uh, yeah, pretty much all the cards to go for Kobe. So, if you're gonna get him, you have to obviously do the full set. A lot of people uh, seem to be a little confused on that, but you come over to Premium. Here is the Rim Rockers, and boom, you do the collection, you get the Kobe. You cannot pull him from packs. He got a 250 salary cap, which isn't bad. It's a little expensive to start off with as a Ruby. A lot of been lower than that, but um, yeah, let's get into the packs. No further ado, man. Preseason up and kicking. We've got like a week till basketball season, like a week and a half, maybe. Uh, baseball season ended for my Red Sox yesterday, so I'm in. Full basketball mode, like besides football. Football cool too, but but yeah, man. Let's get it. Our first rim rocker packs of the year. Again, pretty similar to the high flyers from last year, which I don't mind. I mean, I thought that was a cool set last year and I enjoyed it. So like that that's fine with me. First pack, can we get a Derek Jones? Instead, we're gonna get a Kyle O'Quinn and some jerseys. I still gotta pick up my Kyrie jersey. Possibly Gordon Hayward, Jason Tate. I got a lot of jerseys I gotta buy. We got our first Emerald. Could this be from the set? Ah, I think that means it's a coach. It does. Ah, Alvin Gentry right there. Yeah, even the current players, like, I'll take them. I'm doing the sets. I'm having fun with the game. Trying to grind for those reward cards, and you gotta uh, do some of the sets. So far, though, not too many gem cards. Who are we getting this pack? We're gonna get a John Henson for the Bucks. I've already finished that set, so that definitely does not help me. I do have the Ruby Dandridge. If y'all wanna see a video on all the sets, I've completed. Let me know. Oh, my goodness. Look at these packs, bro. We got a Joe Ingles right there. He does go for, I think, a little bit because, uh, yeah, I think the Jazz set's actually pretty decent, but I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong, but so far, man, these packs are not looking too fire. We get our Derrick Jones Jr. right there, our first card from the set, but man, uh, so far, nothing but bronze, silvers, and uh, again, one Derrick Jones Jr. I think I guess a Derrick Doe. I can't even speak right now, but it don't matter because we ain't getting nothing good in the packs right now. 8 out of 10 right here. We did get an emerald. Uh, but yeah, man. I don't know. These packs kind of depress me right now. We do get Jeremy Evans. Okay. Feeling a little bit better. We have two of this set so far, but they are the two lowest. <laughs> Come on, man. Show me something good. Show me a sapphire. I had actually heard up on Twitter these were pretty good packs, but now I'm looking at my box and I'm like, ah, this isn't looking too good. Another Jeremy Evans right there. Get Ryan Anderson right there from the Rockets. I don't think I have him, so that's actually not too bad of a pull, but man, these are literally just bronze and silver packs right now. We do get another ammo right here. Please be a player. It is Gerald Henderson. Thank you. Finally starting to get some cards from the set. We've gotten like four out of three or four out of the last like three or four packs. So not bad. Gerald Henderson right there. I need a sapphire. We can't go a full box without a sapphire, right? Okay. Another emerald. It could be another emerald from the set. Please. Yeah, Jimmy Butler. That's actually probably better than an emerald from the set. I didn't have him either. So that's actually a fire pull. Thank you, Jimmy B. Let's go. I'm really excited to see what the Timberwolves can do this year. This year, it, it, that's a boomer bust year for them. They got to get better. They got to make the playoffs. You can't add all that talent and not make the playoffs. Like, I know the West is tough, but come on, man. Y'all got to start getting better. We got a Clippers bronze right there. Might go for a little bit. That Dominique Wilkins set is pretty uh, pretty lucrative, I'm pretty sure. That card was nasty. That was the best dunker in the game up until now. Man, we're getting so many bronzes. This has literally been a bronze player pack open, it feels like. We've gotten one em two Emerald players, actually. One from the set, one Jimmy Butler. Could we get another one? Nope. Coach. Ah, man. We still have our topper here as we get towards the last. So we only have two packs left then, that means. Kind of hoping the top bar is at least a sapphire because, man, we haven't gotten a sapphire in a full 20-pack box. It's definitely not that great. We do get J.R. Smith right there. He goes for a good amount, especially because when you do him up, he gets some nice stats. Last pack of the box besides the top bar, I think, is the... No, it's the next one! Please be a player! No! Man, I hate the stupid trolls, bro. 
Those coach trolls are so annoying. We do get Lamar's Aldridge. He goes for about 5k, so that's still a good pack, but I hate those stupid trolls. Ah, that's frustrating. We get an Emerald Topper. Those are still in the game. Ah, that is really annoying. Uh, we get another Gerald Henderson. So we only got three players from the set, bro. Last pack right here. No Sapphires at all. Man, that sucks. That's that's not good. Ah, that sucks. And like, honestly, like, I don't feel confident to open up another one of these. But this is going to be maybe our last box. We're going to do one more. I usually did two last year per pack opening. This year, I'm like, I don't want to do two. I still think the toppers are a joke and they suck. Uh, the, the fact that you have to pay more for a topper, in my opinion, is ridiculous. And yeah, uh, we'll do it though. Another box, another 21 box. Because that's honestly why I'm opening these. Is to show y'all if they're good, if they're not good. So y'all can say, hey man, I was going to spend this $100 that I hard work, you know, I spent my money on. Get Amir Johnson in the first pack of our Rim Rocker second box. And I mean, I really only open these so you guys can see what's in them and see if they're worth it and see if they're not. And yeah, that's really it. I mean, like, like I get the Kobe, but I could really just, you know, sell some players and grind some MT to get the to get the Kobe. Like, like you can do that this year. You can grind up like a couple hundred thousand by just playing Domination, which I still have to finish. So our historic, historic Domination and all time, not a uh, not normal Domination, but we'll do another 21 box. See if it's decent. We do. Ooh, that guy. I needed him. I think now I can complete the 76er set. He was going for a lot. Those, the bronze players go for a ton, man. All right. I don't need no no more emeralds unless they're, again, current players. Then I guess it's kind of decent. We get a Terrence Ross. Actually, I did need him. I thought I had got all the emeralds for the set, but apparently not. We do get another one of the rim rockers. Okay. Now I need to see, like, at least a sapphire. If I don't get a sapphire in this box, these packs are dookie, in my opinion. If I don't get one sapphire in two boxes, that's not good because I've been getting sapphires in every of the other boxes, the throwback packs, we've been getting them in the normal ones. So if we don't get them in the premium boxes, man, not going to be too high on these premium packs. But right there, Malcolm Brogdon, he was going for a good amount on the Bucks set. But I already finished that, so I'll have to sell him off. And hey, look at this. We actually get a Sapphire Topper for once. I really would love this to be Andre Iguodala. Yo, we still got a lot of packs left. Come on, baby. Show me Andre Iguodala, please. It's not, but it's David Thompson. 85 overall. Still a really good card. If I couldn't have Iguodala, this would probably be the one I'd want to have because uh, he looks nasty. He's got some nice stats, and uh, I, I like the look of that card, man. It looks dope. So, all right, we actually got a Sapphire. Thank goodness because so far, man, I hate Emerald Toppers. Those, those got to go. We do get another General Henderson. I can't even speak. Gerald. It sounds like I'm saying General Henderson. Gerald Henderson right there. Come on, man. I like how these packs were gold right now. Never mind. Scratch that. Actually, it's a bronze player. They go for a little bit. I get so confused. Most of the bronze players actually go for a good amount. That's so strange to me. But I guess that, that will change probably soon. Once guys are done doing the collections, that won't be the case anymore. We get Jaleel Okafor right there. 76ers. Dude, they got whooped in the preseason last night by the Celtics. Yeah, starters weren't playing, but the bench, they flooded them, man. So that's good to see. Hey, Bradley Beal right there. Sweet. I have John Wall. I can do that set now, too. Yo, okay. That's a pretty good pull, too. He was going for a good amount. Now I can finish. I I'm almost done with a lot of those sets, man. As I said, the current sets. And I haven't really done a lot this year. Like, as far as pack openings, I really haven't spent more than a couple hundred dollars, which to y'all might seem like a lot, but, man, past years, we would open up tons of league packs day one. I barely did that this year. I think I opened up, like, maybe like maybe 30 league packs total. So, yeah, I haven't really opened up a lot, and we do still have the weekly packs coming out one per week. Sterling Brown right there. We got another Derek Jones Jr. We got six packs left. Again, no topper. We already pulled that. Man, I kind of want to do another box since we got a Sapphire Topper. And I feel like now we actually have a shot at doing this set. But before, it was like, we're not going to do the set. Now, I might actually be able to do it. Let's see how these last few packs are looking. Let's see how these are looking. Let's see what my dude's going for in the auction house right now. And uh, Terrence Ross, once again. So we have a couple dupes for the, uh, what's it called? I think we have a dupe of him, a dupe of Gerald Henderson. And then, of course, some of the gold duplicates. Those are usually pretty common. Last few packs, though. Can I get some good players from teams I don't have? Jalen McGee's actually a good player in 2K this year. Because of his height and his length, he's actually super solid for Supermax. I know a lot of people have been running with him or running with the gold version of him. I think there's an upgraded one. Or maybe it's an emerald. I don't even know. Jeremy Evans once again. But, yeah, I know it's a historic one. That people have been loving. 
All right, two packs left. Oh, that doesn't look good. All bronzes. Eh, it's a bonus. He does go for a little bit, though. I sold a couple of him, I think. Does go for a little bit. Last two, though. Man, you're making me really want to open up another box. Ah, three boxes is a lot, though. Three boxes, you should finish the set, man. And, of course, we're probably not if we finish. If we do another box, we probably won't finish the set. Last pack of this box, though. Again, it had one Sapphire, which isn't too bad. All right, we're going to do one more. That's it. I'm doing a final box. I did want to check out the price of, what's it called, of uh, my guy that I pulled, the shooting guard. Uh, again, I really am not sure. David Thompson is the guy we got. And uh, looks like he's going for about 50K. That's pretty good. Again, I think he is the top. Oh, no, Mike Cooper would be the top card in the set. So that's a good pull. I wish I could swap him for Iguodala, though. I really want that Iguodala. So that's why we'll do one more box. I'm hoping I can pull him, honestly, because that's a card. I, I really want that card more than I want the Kobe. Let's be honest here. I'm a huge Andre Iguodala fan, especially when it comes to 2K. Got to get an Andre Iguodala jersey. This is crazy, but uh, let's open up a throwback one, by the way. I don't even... Is he still in the war? Is he? I'll say this right now. Be sure to smash the like button. I haven't been saying that recently. Let's see if we can get this video 2,000 likes for maybe another pack of it. Who knows? Maybe try and finish the set and get Kobe. If y'all want to see that stuff, let me know. Smash the like button and let's do it. But Rim Rockers, uh, our last box right now. For now, at least. Oh, it's Sapphire. Please, 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 it's the player. Please. Oh, it's Anthony Davis, though. Okay, that's still pretty good. Oh, first pack Sapphire. Whew. Y'all had me nervous. It brings it forward and it's like, oh, it's a coach. And it's like, no, it's not a coach. You thought. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's definitely a good way to start out the pack opening, but now we're gonna need to get multiple sapphires in this box. We need to, all right? I need to see a sapphire player in the topper, a sapphire player from the set in the box. Again, I want Andre Iguodala. Oh, let's go, another sapphire. Yeah, baby, top card in this set. Be Iguodala, please. Don't be the same dude I already got. And yeah, it's Iguodala, baby. Let's go. Good pull! Let's go! That's who I wanted! That's who I wanted! Yeah, baby! I'm glad I did this second box, or not second box, third box, because this has been, so far, one of my better boxes up on 2K in the first few packs. Nice! Another player. Oh no, he goes on the Rockets, not the Clippers. I was gonna say, he's in the Clippers jersey, so I got confused. I was gonna say, I'm trying to do the Dominique Wilkins set too, but so it, there's a lot. I'm gonna have to do some collecting. I'm gonna have to do some, uh, I get sniping. I'm gonna have to pull up the sniper trying to finish this set. Okay, we get more players. I, I don't even know if I need him or not. I don't know if that helps us or hurts us, but thank goodness, man. We did pull the one card I really wanted. Another Sapphire. <gasps> Please don't be a coach. I knew it was a coach. I just had a feeling. Too many sapphires in one box. I was gonna say. We got what, like eight packs left in the box? It's not bad, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's already been a solid box. I'm kinda just like, like, can we get anything else? Like right now, Kemba Walker? Okay, that's a really good pull. He duos with the Dwight and has been going for a ton, man. People have been rudging him as a great budget option. And he's I think the only top card in that set I needed. I'm just hoping I get some more current players, to be honest, right now. Ah. Mike Budenholzer. Dang it, I already... Didn't I just pull him and it showed that? Like, maybe it's because it's in the same box. Maybe it does that. I don't know. I thought I just pulled Luke Maba. Amute. Or a diamond shoe. I wouldn't mind those. Uh, definitely wouldn't mind a diamond shoe or diamond contract even. To add to... No, no I wouldn't add to Iguodala because there's going to be better versions. Again, if you do the schedule mode, which takes forever. <laughs> but Aaron Gordon right there. Okay. Last few packs. Looks like they're cooled off. Ain't gonna get nothing in the last few unless there's a surprise, which I don't think there is. But that's all good, man. We ended up getting two Sapphires and we also got Anthony Davis. Um, again, in, in the whole pack opening. We got, of course, in this box, we got two of them. But uh, we also got the coach, which trolled us, man. A couple, a couple coaches. The trolls. Yeah, that's what they be. But Derek Jones Jr. right there to finish it up. We got a couple of him, and now we've got our last two packs. Come on. Any last pack luck? Last pack. Okay, well, this isn't the last pack, so maybe that's what they're saving it for. <laughs> Justin Holiday, Man, I pulled like three or four of him in this box. Holy crap. I might have to do that Luo Deng set, but uh, I have to sell all the Luo Dengs. But uh, last pack of the box right here, we get a Tony Bradley for the Jazz. This Derrick Jones Jr. definitely goes for nothing on the auction house. But, um, hey, man, y'all budget ballers, scoop them up. So that was our final box. Again, if y'all want to see more, let me know. If not, I might just, uh, I might end up just, uh, doing the set by, you know, going and picking up the cards in the auction house. So I do need three more sapphires, I think it is. Actually, I need four. Wow, that's going to be tough, man. 
because these are pretty expensive right now. Those are probably going to go for about 30 to 40k a pop. So I probably need about 100k MT to do this set at least. 120k probably. Uh, but luckily, it seems like I pulled the ones I wanted. David Thompson, Iguodala. So I still do... I still do have to get some more of these, but if y'all want to see another pack open to do that, maybe I'll do that up. Again, we get 2k likes in this video. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll do another one because, again, these were pretty good, but hopefully these prices will go down to about 30 to 40k. I'm thinking they will because, again, it's still very early on in the day. I'm sure by the time y'all see this video, the prices are probably a lot cheaper. Dwight Howard looking pretty nice. He's going for a good amount, about 50 to 60. So hopefully the price comes down, and this will have to be about a uh, about 120k's worth to finish this set to get the Kobe. Because I don't think that's too bad. It's a lot, but it's not too bad for a really cool card. I do want to quickly just check out the stats of these cards and show you guys what they're rocking. They do have some gold badges, and we'll have crazy dunk tendencies, as y'all already know. 100 on all of those. Pretty sweet. You can see the mid-range for this guy is a 75, and then 3-ball for him is only a 69. So... Definitely not the greatest card for the David Thompson, but he should have some good defense stats. 85 for the block, and uh, should be pretty solid on the speed as well. 85. But the Iguodala, this is the card I wanted, man. As I said, I said this before, I was like, ooh, that Iguodala gonna be nice. I was excited, and I'm hyped, man. 85 driving lamp, which is beautiful. His uh, open shot mid-range is at 80, which is nice. I need a player that can hit the mid-range. And then a 79 for the open shot 3, which is plenty good. Especially in the online game mode. 73 for the free throw. It's not the best, but it'll get it done usually. Good passer. Really good on the defensive side of the basketball. Look at the defensive stats. 93 for the shot contest. 95 on ball defense looking like. Wow, that's crazy. Great 3 and D player who can also dunk like crazy. 96 driving dunk. 85 on the contact dunk and 81 speed, which is really solid. And then obviously the dunking tendencies, which are pretty nice. David Thompson, I think 100 for the uh, standing dunk as well, but we don't have that. But uh, so I guess some of them do have different tendencies, but pretty sweet. And then Iguodala does have three gold badges as well. I think it's posterizer, defensive stopper, and something else. I did look before and a lob city finisher as well. So pretty, stu pretty sweet. I think overall how I rate this set in the packs. Last week, I gave him, I think, a 1 or a 2 out of 10. I think I'd probably give these closer to a 5 or a 6. I think that would be an accurate, maybe even a 7, maybe. I'm going to go 6, I think. I think 6 out of 10. Again, these were pretty solid. First box wasn't that great. Second box was all right. Third box was pretty damn good. So I think I'd give these packs that. I just wish they'd remove those freaking Sapphire coaches from these packs, man. Though, that's one thing. Those are so... Ah, ah. Those leave a bad taste in my mouth, so I can't give it better than a 7. I'm going to give it a 6. That's where I'm going to go every week, every uh, promo pack. I'll be rating them based on the players, the packs, everything, all in one. So, uh, yeah, I think last week it was a 2. I think this week's a 6, so pretty nice improvement. But, um, yeah, these might be decent packs if you like any of these guys. But if you're expecting to just open one box and get Kobe, you are definitely mistaken. I will say that. But uh, I, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a like for more. And uh, I might have to get y'all some Andre Iguodala gameplay later tonight or, or tomorrow. Probably tonight, maybe, I'm thinking, though. Um, but, yeah, let me know. And we'll start up the next round of Super Max. And we'll uh, see what this Andre Iggy can do for us, baby. Peace out.